How come? I'm gonna read my book in a few minutes. I figured instead of just standing here and talking to myself, why not read my book? It's amazing, right? Welcome, this is Mermaid Masterpieces. I'll read the book in a couple minutes, all right? And then I'll go over how to, what, what we're pouring for paints and everything. Welcome, you guys, this is gonna be awesome. Let me get me a drink of seltzer. Hi guys, what are we painting? Tonight we're painting a rainbow with, um, Megan, I see that you made it on. Hi guys. Thank you for reminding me, Zaria and Haley. My friends, um, I wanna, Zaria and Haley, can you guys remind me again, Vicky, whoever's writing that, remind me again. Tonight, after we're done painting, We'll be done around seven o'clock. Um, and after you get all washed up and in your jammies and everything, Zaria X Haley, my girls, you can find it. I'll write another post about them on here. They read good night stories every single night during the week at eight o'clock. And they're awesome, they're really smart. And if you look behind them in their book nook, you'll see Mermaid Masterpieces paintings that they painted with me because they used to be stationed here in Newport and now they're stationed in Delaware. And these kids are famous. They were on the Rachel Ray show. They were on, I think like, I can't remember what else. They were on a lot of shows though. It's amazing. My friends, welcome. Please tell me where you're from. And I, you know, how excited you are. I'm excited, are you excited? We'll read my book in a couple minutes. Hey Melody. Olivia, hi, honey. Hi, Peyton. Oh, this is so exciting. Happy to be. Thanks, Tanya. You know that um, I have to turn the music off in a minute because then otherwise they'll mute me. But you guys should play some music at home. Turn it down low enough so that you can hear me, but just like loud enough so that you can be all. Go ahead, put your music on. While you're waiting, if you don't mind, just hitting that share button. Hit the share button. Is it on this side, the share button? No one's told me yet. I have no, I've never shared my own video because I'm live. I can't share it. So tell me, is it this side? Right here? Hi, Steven. Is it this side, my share button? Hi guys. Hi Olivia. Rebecca from Fairhaven. Fairhaven. <gasps> Carrie, you chose a beautiful name for your daughter. My name's also Rebecca. I love it. All right, guys, if you could hit the share button, please, please, please. Let's boost this up. I want I want a lot of people here tonight. We've already got 134 people and it is 553 and I am not mad about it. Are you mad about it? I hope not. The more the merrier, right? 
I feel like if we just spread this positive energy, we'll all feel awesome today, right? Because it's kind of dreary out right now. My toes are freezing. Hi, Allison. I hope you guys are doing well. Tell Julie I said I hope she's feeling good. Um, It's kind of dreary out. This is rainbow weather, so we're painting a rainbow. All right? Keep telling me where you're from, guys. Hey, Bray. Hey, Liz. All right, keep telling me where you're from. I'm so excited. My f Wait, hold on. Hi, this is my nearly your first grade teacher, Barbara. Thank you, Mrs. Blakely, my first grade teacher. Is she watching or did she watch? I love that. That's so exciting. Thank you, Brian. Steven, you're gross. I'm going to delete that. Okay. All right. Guys, this is free, 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 which is my favorite price, but I do have a tip jar, so I'll leave it for you guys. Um, if you feel like leaving a tip, word up. Not, I'm not going to deny you of that. Otherwise, this is free for us to all enjoy and, you know, just to spread the positivity, right? I think that's so important right now. Um, my PayPal is Bexta. My Venmo is at Mermaid Masterpieces. Uh-oh, where did it go? I'm going to pin this to the top. But do not feel obligated. I just have people asking me where they can leave a tip. So I'm posting it, right? Ain't no shame in my game, right? If you guys could share, 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 share. Share button's right here, right? Kia ora S. 5.55, I feel like that's a good angel number, so I'll read my book right now. All right? This is my new stuffed animal for my book. It's actually my Nana. She's letting me borrow it. This is a Budsy. And you'll see in a minute that he's in my book. So exciting. The Budsy stuffed animal, stuffed doll. You know, you guys, I know there's a lot of artist kids watching. Do you know that I sent these people a picture of my stuffed animal from my book and they made it into a stuffed animal? And look at, he even has a tummy. I can't, he's wearing a shirt. I can't even believe it. And it says Intrepid because my grandpa was in the Navy and he was on the aircraft carrier, the Intrepid, which is in New York City. And he was actually a really big part of the decommissioning ceremony, which is really cool. He was, um, if you read anything about the decommissioning ceremony, his name's in it, Byron E. Franklin. So this is Inky. That was his nickname because as you can see, he has paint splatters all over him. And if you can see, I have paint splatters all over me at all times too. So I need a new nickname. I mean, we call me Bex. So see, I have paint all over me. It's an accident though, kids. Don't get paint on you on purpose. That ain't cute. Sorry, moms. You guys just, just got to treat it when you get home. Oh, you are home. You guys are painting at home. I have to say my favorite part about these paint parties is not having to clean up. That's your job. I'm sorry. It's really, I'm like, I, I get done, turn my camera off and walk away. It's so amazing. You want to hear my book? Oh, that's the wrong side. But if you see a kid in the library reading my book, you see this like, you're like, oh my God, that's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Mmm. Beautiful. That's a little Beck stuff. So my book's called Meet Little Bexta, and it's um, the first book in the series, Auntie Bexta's Mermaid Tales. You know what? Let me turn the music down. I don't want them to mute my book. That would be rude. All right. So my this book is... Oops. This is the first book out of Auntie Bexta's Mermaid Tales. It's called Meet Little Bexta. And book two is already in the works. And that book is called Meet Little Bexta's Friends. But for now, we can enjoy Meet Little Bexta. It's available on Amazon. All right. Okay, so that's Little Bexta when she was little. All right. So, can you stand? That's. Uh, do you guys want me to give you a spoiler alert about the book? I won't. I won't. How about that? You guys figure it out. All right, so that's little Bex, so she's cute. Okay. Let me move back a little. You know what? I'm going to read it like this. Sweet little Bexta was born in the fall. Her town was so pretty and she was so small. Let me make it so there's no glare. Isn't she cute? Look at that cute girl. She's going to be turned into a budsy next. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Guys, 
Let's hit that share button while we're doing this, guys. Go ahead. Her mommy is Patches, her daddy is Bill. Sweet little Bexta was life's greatest thrill. Hmm. I think every kid can relate. Look at, that's my mom and dad. Or little Bexta's mom and dad. Let me not do any spoiler alerts. Patches works hard taking care of the sick. If you need a good nurse, she'd be your first pick. See? Little Bexta and her mom. Her mom likes to wear sunglasses in the house. That's why there's sunglasses. All right. Bill is a rock star who plays the guitar. He's got lots of fans from here, near, and far. Her dad playing guitar. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. Okay. Her Nana and Inky lived right across the street, and sweet little Bexta thought that was so neat. The whole family right across the street. There, you can see it now, right? Wait a second. Doesn't that look like someone? Can you believe it? Look. <gasps> That's Inky. Can you believe it? All right. Cute little Bexta and Nana did stuff. Nana made Bexta marshmallow fluff. They love to watch the price is right. They even, she even loved to spend the night. That's them putting her to sleep. You guys see that they live in the Newport Harbor? Did you know there's mermaids in the Newport Harbor? I did. Okay. The Navy had Inky for 27 years. He was a pretty tough guy who had zero fears. Inky was always around from the start. He and little Bexta loved to do art. That's little Bexta making a painting, a mermaid tail. And that's Inky painting a Newport Harbor scene. See? This book is too high quality. It's shiny. Sorry, guys. I hope you can see it. Hit that share button. God, tell me where you're from while we're doing this. All right. Fun little Bexta loved to play. She played with many things on any given day. She played with her dolls. She rode her bike. There really wasn't much that she didn't like. See, she's carrying her little doll cradle and little dollhouse. How did, how did this book get made? Look at all those. There's fishies and look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Doesn't that look so fun? Look at that. Mmm. Hit that share button, my friends. Mmm. Excuse me. Welcome back if you've already been here, guys. We're just reading my book real quick. Little Bexta's right eye was seriously crossed. Her doctor called it lazy, but she called it lost. Her eyes looked huge like she was from space. Wait. Uh-oh. Sorry, I skipped a part. Gigantic glasses sat on her face. Her eyes looked huge like they were from space. But she needed those glasses so that she could see. Plus, they looked cute. And that's always key. Hit that share button, my friends. What time is it? It's 6.02. We'll start in a minute. Poor little Bexta was super duper shy. The funny thing is, she didn't know why. Maybe that's why she loved to read. Because inside of a book, her shyness was freed. Look at little Bexta reading books under the Newport Bridge. Can you believe it on a little float? I don't think you're allowed to do that. Mermaids can though. Real mermaids, they can do whatever they want in the water, I guess. She loved to do art and she did it so well. And when she was drawing, she came out of her shell. Again, she's under the bridge. She loves that Newport Bridge, huh? Look at her painting that bridge too. Can you believe it? You're good at art, other kids would say. It runs in my blood from Inky and Grandpa Jay. That's her Inky's, this is her Inky's drawing and this is one of her Grandpa Jay's drawings because being a good artist, it runs in your blood. You just gotta try your best, right? Who is that? When Bexta grew up, she stopped being shy. As a matter of fact, this might make you cry. I'm laughing. She got wicked loud and so very funny. She got some tattoos that cost lots of money. Her nose is pierced and so is her ears. Uh-oh, I have those. 
And yes, those things may cause you tears. <laughs> She's all of the kids' most favorite aunt. They always have a blast and jokingly taunt. She teaches the kids all kinds of art. They smile and they paint, but that's only the start. Wait a second, doesn't that look like what you guys are doing right now? I think it does. Auntie Bexta's always got a story to tell, so she's putting them in books and it'll be swell. All of the stories are about her and her friends. Auntie Bexta's Mermaid Tales is a series that truly never ends. So meet little Bexta, she's your new pal, a mermaid from Newport and a pretty awesome gal. The end. You can find this at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, everything. All right, meet little Bexta. You guys ready to start painting? I'm gonna read my book every night to you guys. Look at that. And this is a Budsies, and it just goes with the book. I can't wait to make a little Bexta one. Okay. Are we ready to start? I think we are, right? Well, welcome. This is Mermaid Masterpieces, and tonight we're gonna paint a rainbow over water with a pot of gold at the end. You guys think you can handle that? No, yeah, no, yeah, I think you can. You guys totally can handle it. Keep, I love that, Becky. Keep telling me where you guys are from. You met me at Michael's when? I'm, so, listen, I think Michael should sponsor me. All right, because I meet everyone at Michael's and I always have all Michael's products. Just, I'm not kidding. Michael's is my favorite art supply store, so you should check them out. All right, are we ready to get started? I'm ready, you ready? I'm ready. All right, what we need is, make sure you guys all have your canvas in front of you. Wait, first, put down a tablecloth. Do you have a tablecloth down? Give me a love if you do. Hit that love button, love, 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 love. <sighs> hmm, okay. Now, put your canvas on it in front of you. I can't read that. Oops. Whoever just said my dad just went to Michael's. Wow. There's a lot of comments here already. Hold on. Someone said my dad went to Michael's and what? I missed it. It's like a long one. Wow. There's a lot of you guys here. I love this. Keep sharing. Hit that share button. I look really good today. Right? Mm. Okay, you look good. Show me, come on, give me a little pose in the mirror, in the camera. Mm. 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 Say hi. Oh my gosh. All right, I almost took a sip of my straw. This is not a straw. So this is gonna teach us all a valuable lesson at home. Make sure you don't have a drink on the table with you. You don't need one, all right? Just, you're fine. You have a cup with water with about an inch and a half, two inches, of water in it put a big brush and a little brush in it facing up all right facing up and you need a plate or some sort of palette all right now if you have these squirt things I'm not a fan of them really but I'm gonna say you need about a Reese's cup worth of white half dollar worth of black half dollar worth of the rest of the colors all right Are you guys having fun so far? I'm having fun. Do you guys know I really, this is literally talking to myself, looking at numbers and trying to read comments. And I'm legally blind without my contacts on. I don't have the best eyes. So I'm like, what are they saying? What is this? Oh, all right. So what you want to do is make sure you have about a Reese's cup full of white. Okay. And about a, a half dollar worth of black, yellow, red, and blue. All right. That's all the colors you need. Because, what are these, the primary colors? When you mix these colors, you can literally make any color on earth. I think. Yeah, you can, except glitter. You can't make that color. And I was telling the last video that glitter is my favorite. I'm getting hot already. Guys, what? Why do I get hot when I do this? I don't know. Ooh, hold on. Let me take this off. 
All right, now that reminded me. Do you have a nice shirt on? If you got a nice shirt on and you have an undershirt underneath, uh, take it off. Go give it to someone else, an adult. Have them put it somewhere safe. Or you can put an apron on, or you can take your nice shirt off, go into the ladies' room or men's room or whatever bathroom you got to go to. Um, take your nice shirt off, flip it inside out, and then put it back on. No one's going to, no one cares because you're home. It's cool. Um, all right. So you should have everything set up. Put your um, plate right next to you, next to your right hand, your cup of water above that. Have everything all set up. You don't need any napkins. If you have one, put it away because you don't need it. And I'll tell you why. This is a quick story I like to tell every party. One day I was doing a paint party about four years ago because I've been doing this for five years now. Five years, one month, and one day. So pretty big deal. And I was doing a paint party and I set it up. Everyone's having a good time. And then I looked out and noticed no one has a napkin. Oh my goodness. So I didn't say anything. I keep a good poker face because, you know, this is business. I got to make sure everyone thinks I'm doing the right thing because I'm just kidding. I'm always doing the right thing. So anyways, so one day while I was realized that they didn't have the uh, napkins, I was like, you know, what? I'm just not going to say anything because it's too late to pass them out. Right. Right. So I didn't bother. Taught the class. No big deal. We had fun. Kids were happy. I was happy. I went to clean up after because if you've already painted, you know, you got to clean up your paints, your brushes, um, the, you know, go under the table and clean up the, the paint that may or may not have spilled. So that specific class, I went under the table. There was no wet napkins with wet paint on them. And I was like, I'm never giving a napkin again, because what happens is if you have a wet, na if you have a napkin, you have the habit of just like kind of wiping your wet paint on it and then getting into your zone, talking to your home girl, talking to your homeboy. And you just, you lose track of the wet paint and the wet napkin, and then it gets on your clothes and on the floor, and that ain't cute. Right? All right. Are you guys ready to get started? I am. Let's start. All right. So what you're going to do is take your big brush and your little brush out of your cups. Point them at me. Click them together. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Hit them on your head ten times, nice and gentle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Hit them on your shoulders, opposite shoulders. Though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wave them in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you guys ready to start painting? I did that because I was making sure that you're listening. Are you guys listening? All right. Cool. One more little piece of advice keep saying one more thing but you know it's gonna be like 50 more things adults just let the kids paint kids if an adult's trying to take your brush out of your hand and trying to help you or whisper what I'm saying be like thank you for your help but I got it right this is your masterpiece all right no one else says you work on it on your own don't even ask for help either because you don't need it and if you were at one of my real paint parties actually this is a real paint party but if we were hanging out together and I saw you trying to get help, I'd be like, you don't need help. This is your masterpiece. Because guess what? Afterwards, you're going to feel so proud that you did it all by yourself. Right? Right. All right. Are you ready to get started? I am. Psh. All right. Take your little brush. Stick it in your hair. You don't need it. All right. Stick it in your hair somewhere. If you've got a bun, stick it in the top. If You can leave it on the table if you want to. It's up to you. All right, my friends. Me too. All right, so what we're gonna do, can you guys all see my canvas? All right, cool, I'll leave it right here. All right, take your big brush. All right, point it at me so I know you're ready. Let's see. Let me see. You're not pointing it at me yet. Point it, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're gonna take a glob of white and we're gonna come up a couple inches and we're gonna smear it right across, maybe like two or three inches up, okay? Now, this is your masterpiece. If you don't do it exactly the same as I do, that's fine, because this is your masterpiece. You can do whatever you want, all right? Follow along and you'll see how I do mine, but if you go rogue, that's fine, all right? You guys are gonna do awesome. I'm proud of you already. Were you feeling proud already? Because you're here? I'm feeling proud of you. All right, cool, let's get started. Take some more white, 
and we're gonna color in that entire upper three-fourths white, okay? I'm not good at math. I think we all know that. So I don't know if that's the correct, what is it even called? Fraction, all right? So just pay attention. So if I say three-fourths, I don't know if it's really three-fourths. Don't get mad. All right, we're gonna just keep adding white because we want this to be a little bit, a little bit, not, I don't, I'm not gonna say thick, but don't be cheap with that white paint, all right? We want it to be spread, okay? So I'm taking some off actually, okay? I've already flicked a bunch of white paint on me. Try not to flick any on your siblings or whoever you're sitting next to or the wall. Whenever I paint at my mom's house, she hates me because even though I'm 37, sometimes I still paint at her kitchen table, which there's nothing wrong with that. And she gets mad because I get in my zone and she's like, Rebecca. My name's Becky, by the way. Rebecca is only when I'm in trouble. So she'll put, Rebecca, you got paint splattered all over my wall and I'm like, I'm sorry, mom. I don't know, I don't do it on purpose. So just try not to, okay? If you get a little paint somewhere, make sure you clean it up tonight, immediately after, okay? So you can do this again. All right, cool, let's, let's keep going. All right, now that we've got, oh, I already got some blue on it. So what we're gonna do is take a glob of blue, we're gonna smear it across the top. Don't rub it in yet. Are you rubbing it in? I'm just kidding. All right, take another glob of blue. We're gonna smear it across the bottom of the white paint, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our big brush, you don't need to clean or dry it, and we're just gonna kind of work that light, or work that blue into the white by doing long brush strokes all the way from one end to the other. All right, see how it's kind of blending with, well, not kind of, it is blending with the white. And what is it doing? It's creating the color of a beautiful day sky, right? Right, right? Answer me, come on, you can talk to me, right? Okay, thanks, keep mixing it. All right, we're just gonna go down to the bottom of that white paint. We're gonna leave this blank, all right? Please and thank you. All right, so color, color, color. What are you guys listening to for music? I wish I was listening to some music. That'd be awesome. Do you guys have a song I should sing? The reason I can't listen to music is because they have licenses and you can't just share other people's music and art live. I get it. I kind of, I don't know how I would feel if... Uh, no, I would like if someone had one of my paintings hanging in the background because everyone knows I did it. Like you guys, if I played a song by Disney, you know I didn't write it or sing it. We're just celebrating it, right? So, do you guys have a song I should sing? Let it go, let it go. Whoa, I'm not a good singer. They, they don't let me sing in public. They don't let me sing at church either. Most places don't allow it. I'm just kidding. I watched Frozen 2 the other night for the second time. We're just gonna keep working this, guys, until it's nice and smooth, long brush strokes back and forth. All right. Hmm. How do you feel? Good? I feel good, too. Wow, this is a nice blue. You know what? The color of this sky means it was like a nice day. Do you want to hear a fun fact about rainbows? Okay. While you guys are working on that, I'm going to tell you something really cool about rainbows. Did you know that you'll never see a rainbow and then the sun in the same, like you can't look in front of you and see both of them together? because a rainbow is always gonna be completely opposite of the sun, the opposite side of the earth. So if you see a sun right in front of you, the rainbow is gonna be exactly behind you. Or if you see the sun over here, the rainbow is gonna be over here. It's always opposite. Did you know that? That's so cool, isn't it? One time I even saw a rainbow before the sun came up. 
which that's mind blowing to me because it had rained the night before. This is magic. It rained the night before and I went to watch the sunrise from Jamestown. I was wet down on a dock in Jamestown. The Newport Bridge was in front of me and the sun was about to come up and guess what? I turned around and there was a rainbow. Sun was in front of me, rainbow was behind me. It was summer solstice 2018, it was awesome. Whoops, all right, you guys ready? Do we all have nice, wow, I'm not even, I am not even close to your comments, woo. Joy to the world, all the boys and girls. Who's saying no? Joy to the fishes of the deep blue sea. Uh, my mom, my mom typed out, Rebecca, am I in trouble, mom? Okay. All right, we ready for the next step, my friends? Let's clean off our, um, our brushes. First, we'll kind of wipe the excess off on our plates because we don't want all that paint in our cup. That's annoying, right? Right. Hi, Ann Libby. All right, hold your cup with one hand, paint the bottom of it with the other hand. Make sure that cup's on the table, please, okay? Keep that cup on the table. Are you guys having fun? Ugh, you're from Connecticut. I love it. Mmm. Mm -mm. Did you, have you guys shared this? Make sure we're sharing. This is a free paint party, you guys. Two free paint parties a week. No, not a week, a day while we're um, social distancing. So that means I wanna hang out with you guys even though we're at home. So we're gonna have paint parties twice a day, one o'clock and six o'clock. And there might be something else in the works, but mm, I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. So, mm, mm. and it's free. However, if you wanna leave a little something, something in my tip jar, I do have a little tip jar here. It's um, the PayPal thing I, I uh, pinned to the top because everyone keeps messaging me. I finally had to post it on my page and I felt so tacky about it. But I have to be honest with you guys, I love you all so much. But there, when I got off my live the other uh, at 1 o'clock, I had 25 messages on my business page. And then 15 on my Instagram and like 6 on my, my regular Facebook. I, and a lot of them were saying, where, uh, where do I leave you a tip? So that's why I posted it. That's why I tell you, because I'm just trying to cut back on the messages. I am not mad about it. This is the best. That's the best problem for me to have is too many messages on my business page. This is awesome. All right, enough. Swirl, swirl, swirl. All right, we're going to squeeze the extra water back into the cup. That's why you don't need a, um, a napkin. All right. And don't be like, oh, we, my Venmo is uh, Mermaid Masterpieces. All right. Hi, Carrie. You can't hear Ellen. You might want to turn the volume up. I don't even know how to fix it. I don't know. Keep sharing, my friends. All right, let's get to the next step. So we're going to take our big brushes. We're going to take a glob of blue. We're going to color the whole bottom part blue. All right, from that line down. Okay, just blue. Mmm, doesn't that look beautiful? Woof! Mmm. Okay, just mix it right in. Color it right in. What do you think? You guys like that? All right. So, what we're going to do... Do you guys think we should do the big step, like the big kid step? You think you're ready? Do you, do you think we should do it or do we think we should just stick with it, what we're doing right now? We'll make it a little fancier. Does that sound good? All right, kids. We're going to take our big brush and just dip it in the black. I'm saying just a little dip. See how little I, look how little that is. Oh, I've always wondered why all the people on like YouTube and stuff Put your hand up. See how that's just like a little, little, or just a little tiny dip, okay? Little dip. Just a little. Like, see? Mm. <laughs> I feel like I'm showing you a makeup palette. All right. I look really good today. Mm. Mm hmm I need a... Mm. Oh, we're up to 400 viewers. I'll let you hear me. All right. Keep sharing. Darker, the darker blue, we're just going to dip it in the black, Okay. So, you're going to take that black, and you're just going to go across the top of this darker blue, 
and you're just gonna do long brush strokes back and forth with it a couple times and then you're gonna slowly work your way down all right this is just I actually didn't even get enough black all right so we're just whoops we're gonna take the little bit of black we're gonna do long brush strokes back and forth Mm -hmm. Oops. And we're just going to slowly work our way down and that black is going to dissipate into the blue. Okay. It's just going to dissipate into the blue. You don't need to work your way back up, but if you want, you can kind of just start at the top again and just kind of work that black back and forth and work your way down nice and slow. You get a little white in it, but it looks good. All right. Once you get to the bottom, don't come back up though. See how it, okay. So the reason we did that is you know how like when you look out at the ocean, there's stuff like far, far, far away from you, right? Right, because the ocean goes on forever. Not really, till the, you know, till the horizon. That looks wicked dark, right? But as it gets closer, it's a little bit lighter looking. So that's why we made it a little darker in the back. All right, and then a little bit lighter up front. Perfect. Perfect. I just thought of a, all right. All right. Now leave it. We good. We good. Let's clean off our big brushes. Okay. Now, what do we do to clean our brushes? Make sure we're, say it with me. Say it with me. Hold it with your cup. Swirl, swirl, swirl. All right. Oh, swirl, swirl. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. Mm. This is nice. Paint the bottom of your cup. Tap it, tap it, all right, and then squeeze. Back it, squeeze that extra water back in the cup, all right? Guys, I have to say, if you are looking to have amazing lighting, get you a ring light, because I look fabulous. Mm. Now we got a clean and semi-dry brush. We're gonna take our little brush out of our ear, put our big brush in, I don't want that. The darker blue at the bottom, Alicia, is you just paint the darker blue. All right? Okay. Honestly, you can um, rewind it if you need to get back into that because then you got to add the black and everything. So you can always um, come watch the video after to do that part because you're not, you don't need to, um, we're not really doing much over it. So it's, you can work on it after. All right? So what we're going to do, you know, when you look at the water and there's waves, like just like little waves breaking up. We're gonna do that. So we're gonna take a little dip with our big brush. Or, nope, sorry, little brush. We're gonna take a little dip in the white paint. I'm saying a little, little, little dip, okay? What we're gonna do is just kind of make little dabs of paint, okay? You're gonna do a line going kind of right across and let it, here, let, me, let me put this a little closer so you guys can see better. You know what? Okay, so pick a little spot and just do a couple dabs of white paint, just going across. See how it's not like dab, 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 but and I'm just kind of dragging my brush a little bit and then skip a little spot and then do some more, skip a spot, and then you can do some waves that are a little bit further out. This is the waves breaking, okay? Now. I want to point out now you saw up close how to look how to do it um but and it probably didn't look that great up close in my camera but further back here doesn't it look like waves yes because art is meant to be enjoyed from a couple steps back looking at those little lines up close you're kind of like wait that doesn't look like waves take a few steps back this goes for everything in art and probably everything in life like when you're really close, uh oh, we're having a really good golden hour right now. Okay, we're okay. Um, like I bet you there's a rainbow outside right now. I bet there is. This is total rainbow light. I'm obsessed with photography. If you don't know that about me, mermaid masterpieces on Instagram. I always take pictures. It's my favorite thing. Um, anyway, so when you're looking at a painting or a picture. And you might, you're, I think I just got paint on my mouth. If you're looking at a painting or a picture you're working on up close and you're like, I don't like it. It doesn't look like how I want it to look like. 
you got to take a couple steps back and look at it from a little further away so it kind of does what it's supposed to do and then it just looks right when you look at it a little further away right um let's keep working on our waves uh, another thing though that i just noticed a couple months ago that sometimes when you're a kid in your mind you see an awesome picture and you're like i'm gonna paint that this happens to adults too happens to me in my head i'm like i'm gonna paint that and it it's gonna look just like what i see in my head so i'm gonna paint that and it's gonna look really cool and then i paint it and it doesn't always come out like what i saw in my head and that's okay you know what happens with that you gotta just keep practicing and eventually you'll end up making what you saw in your head but i think with kids i think you guys don't realize that that's okay to not be able to get what you saw in your head on your canvas you gotta just keep trying right practice makes perfect so keep trying right so we're gonna do these little waves I would do them smaller as you work your way up, okay? So even smaller and smaller. This is, I like to imagine this is Second Beach, if you're from Newport, Middletown. They can get, you can do as many waves or as little as you want. I just saw a bunch of surfers out there, down at Surfer's End. I don't know if they're crazy. Do you guys think it's warm enough to surf? They were in wetsuits. I'll say that but it's a little cold. You won't catch me with my boogie board in March. I'll tell you that much, all right? So I guess I'll just do these little, and you can go all the way back, okay? Up to the horizon, which is, do you know what the horizon is? Do you? The horizon is where the sky meets the water, or if you're not near water, where the sky meets the land. That's the horizon, all right? Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun, I hope you are. How do we make the waves again? You just do little tiny dabs and just kind of like let your brush kind of drag. Don't don't think about it too hard. Just little, mm -hmm, little lines going across. Give yourself a little, you know, break between. Like don't do it straight across. Like stop for stop for a little bit and then do it again. Get what I'm saying? Like line, line, line. Stop. Right. listening to music I hope you are because I'm jealous that I can't listen to music right now hold on is there a rainbow outside can you imagine if there's a rainbow outside I would be like so stoked um I don't know you guys feeling good feeling blazing so so far are we like oh I like this painting good good I like it too all right how's this blue Pretty much dry right don't touch it if you're not ready all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off our little brushes all right make sure we're holding our cups with one hand swirl 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 with the other hand do we love our paintings are you guys feeling proud oh, Addie, i love that you're feeling blazing because i am too oh I, lauren i thought you meant you don't see a rainbow on my canvas i was like we haven't painted it yet you meant outside huh all right, squeeze the extra water out of the cup. I'm going to look out my window real quick and see if there's a rainbow. Hold on. I'll let you guys know. Oh, that's a nice painting. No rainbow yet. No rainbow. Matt, I'm glad you're having fun. Heather, I'm glad you're having fun too. Make sure you're hitting that share button right here. Right here. Love you too, Bonnie. All right, so clean and dry little brushes. Okay. Okay, we ready for the next step? Let this um, light blue dry for one second and I'll be back in one second, okay? Okay, hold on. I'm back. 
All right, how we doing? Make sure you're hitting that share button. Diane, I'm glad you're having fun. Good. All right, take your little brush. We're gonna make some green. Do you know how to make green? We're gonna take some blue and we're gonna mix it with some yellow. All right, I would add the blue to the yellow and not the yellow to the blue because it's um, less, I think the blue is like, like more dominant than the yellow when it comes to mixing paint. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I plan on doing this daily when the kids are back in school. I have fun. This is good. I like it. Do you like it? Hmm. All right. Thank you. I can have it back. All right. So what we're doing now is we're going to take that green and we're going to make two pieces of land. So we'll just take some green. I'm going to make mine a little bit darker. Okay, right along the horizon. All right, we're gonna do some dabs of green. All right, it's gonna start bigger on the left. Uh, this is your right, right? Yeah, it's gonna start bigger on the side of the canvas. And as you work your way in, it's gonna get smaller and smaller. See how that's smaller and smaller there? See, starts bigger on the side of the canvas and you get smaller as you work your way towards the middle. And we're going to do that on both sides, my friends. Yes, I can. Can you see now? Can you guys see? Thanks, Catherine. How come you guys can't see? All right. We're going to take a little bit more green. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? So this is your left. We're going to start with dabs of green, dab, dab, dab. And it's going to be bigger on the left. And then as you work your way in, it's going to get smaller and smaller, okay? You're only going to go a couple inches, just like you did on the other side. Okay, smaller and smaller. Hmm, doesn't that look good? You guys starting to see something? All right, cool. I'm good, thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Appreciate you. Mm, mm, mm. Did we get a rainbow? I think, you know what? We don't need a rainbow outside. We got the rainbow here, almost. We're almost there, We're almost there. How are you guys feeling today? Good? I wanna see what time it is. Jennifer, you're proud. I love that. Who else is feeling proud? Oh, cute. You got girl, girl watching and boy, boy. All right. Oh, I got paint all over me. No one told me. Hmm. You guys are so fun. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. If I'm having fun, you're having fun. And if you're having fun, I'm having fun. We're having fun, right? This is it. Ellen, you got to be patient. We got to do all the background stuff first. All right, my friends, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little tiny, tiny bit of black to that green. Tiny bit, okay? Let me get up here so you guys can see. You're happy, I'm glad you're happy, I'm happy too. Take a tiny, tiny bit of black. See, remember how before we just used a bit, little bit, little bit again, okay? So we're gonna take a tiny bit of black and mix it with part of our green. Shaking. People. Okay. We need a little bit more black. Guys, thank you for all the nice things you're saying. I really appreciate it. You're gonna, don't make me cry on camera. Don't make me do it. Can you, can you imagine if I was just like, ah! <laughs> I just started crying? I can't. I wouldn't put it past me. I'm crazy. Good crazy though, right? All right. So we're going to take that little bit of black. Mixed with a little bit of green. Happy St. Patty's Day. I didn't even say that yet. How rude am I? What? Happy St. Patty's Day and happy birthday to Casey. All right. Happy birthday to you. Ah, happy birthday to you. Ah, happy birthday, dear Casey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
birthday, Casey. All right, I won't cry. All right, we're gonna take some of that darker green, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna add little dabs, okay? Little dabs of green, okay? Little dabs of this darker green to this lighter green. Just a little, like just little dabs, all right? We're not covering it. We're just kind of adding a little bit to it, all right? Just little dabs over it. And this is creating dimension. It's making it look like trees have a little depth to them. Okay. Now I'm not a classically trained artist. Thank goodness for you guys, because I can teach you guys these things and like these and say things like blob, smear, stuff like that. Um, glob. Uh, the only reason I know how to paint is if you were here when we were reading my book is because it's both my grandfathers were artists so and they were both art teachers and they both had greeting card lines and I teach art I'm an artist and I have a greeting card line I wrote a book too though they didn't write books so but that's probably because I have both their genes in me let's continue <laughs> all right so we're gonna just do this little darker green dabs all over our light green okay you can even add a little bit extra to the end if you want and we're going to do this on both sides of our light green. All right. Are you guys feeling good? You feeling good? Are you having a good time? Mm. Add a little bit. There you go. All right. You guys are doing a really nice job. I'm going to add more on this side. You want them to kind of look like the same like they're from the same country probably all right in my mind this is like if we're looking out at like um first beach that's how I like imagine this I don't know what do you guys think did I already say second beach it's more first beach to me mm -hmm. what are you guys doing did we do this already mm. who just said something nice to me mm. Lauren, I love that. She said we're our teenager, our teenagers, why can't I talk? Our teenagers and I are sitting down spending time together and that never happens. Thank you. For, you're welcome. Someone just told me their birthday is March 23rd. Remind me it's your birthday and you know I'll sing to you. You know I don't mind. Okay. Um, do you guys like flowers? Like a little color? I like when I'm walking down like the cliff walk or something and I see it. Uh, like daffodils, hydrangeas, stuff like that. So let's clean off our little brushes. Now when you're looking at flowers in a distance, make sure you're holding your cups with one hand and squeeze the extra water back out in the other hand. All right. So when you're looking at flowers, colorful bushes in a distance, you don't see the little petals or anything. It just looks like a little blob of color, right? So we're going to be, we're, we're abstract artists here. I don't know. Let's face it. We're abstract artists. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of yellow because there's yellow daffodils coming up on the cliff walk and we're going to just add a couple little, just add a couple little dabs of yellow, like little, here, let me do this a little closer for you guys. Just like little baby dabs, just like tiny, as little as you can go. And I would do it towards the bottom of your, um, your little green stuff because you know you, there's not really daffodils up higher in in the sky so I mean you could do them up higher this is your masterpiece this is your world you do whatever you want all right so we're gonna do yellow on this side too all right just like a little tiny now if you want to add pink flowers purple flowers blue do whatever you want. This is your masterpiece. All right. Shaking. It's weird. All right. I really like these daffodils. I think they look pretty. This makes me want to go for a swim. You? You want to take a dip in this water? I do. Mm. You know what this looks like? It looks like Greenbridge a little bit without the mansions. Looks like, looks like Greenbridge and Jay Leno's house would be like right here. 
right? How, wait, how have I not met Jay Leno in Newport yet? I'm Newport famous. He's national, fam international famous. He should probably know who I am, right? Who's going to make that happen? Jay Leno and I would be friends. Let's face it. Are you guys ready for the main attraction? We're going to do the rainbow now. I'm excited for you guys. All right, let's do it. So let's clean off. Actually, we just used yellow last. And yellow is the first color we're going to use. All right, so let's take our little brushes. We'll dunk more yellow. Okay? Don't be cheap about this yellow, okay? What we're going to do, I have to kind of look at this from the front. Hold on. What we're going to do is we're going to do a yellow frowny face from anywhere on this side to anywhere on this side. I would recommend you kind of come in like an inch. If you're going to do it an inch on that side, you should do it an inch on the other side. All right. You want it to be kind of equal. Now, this is, it. listen, it's just, we got to keep a steady hand. So don't freak out about it because see, mine's a little messed up already. But that just means I'm just coming in with more yellow. I got to come in with, we all have to come in with a little more yellow because the blue is definitely going to pop through and make it look green. So just come in with a little bit more yellow and just keep adding to it. All right. Don't stress out about it. You got this. Don't be cheap about that yellow. Kind of just give yourself a nice, you know, a nice glob and just kind of gently drag it. All right. And we're going to do this over to the other side. Now, if you didn't, if you don't, let me see. If yours is, if you feel like yours isn't perfect, keep trying. Keep working on it, okay? Keep going. You guys got this. Because in art, you cannot mess up. The only, th the only way you mess up in art is if you're not happy with it and you give up. You got to just keep trying, right? You got to try until you get to where you want the result to be. That's just like I said earlier, like you see these things in your head that you want to draw and it doesn't come out perfect the first time, second time, whatever. You got to keep doing it. You got to keep trying, right? Got this. All right. Get you some more yellow. I'm going to do yellow all the way. I want to make sure this is a nice, bright, thick yellow. All right. Yellow is definitely the hardest color on this rainbow because it's the lightest. But it's also like the brightest too. Isn't that weird? Like it's like see-through, but it's like, wow. Mm, I, love, I love all the colors. I almost said I love yellow, but honestly, I love every color. All right. I do. Something we should all know about me. Any? Do you guys have any fun facts about yourselves you want to share? Tell me. Tell me. I want to know. Earlier, I asked if anyone had done any good deeds today. Share a fun fact or a good deed. I'd love to read it. And so would the other readers. All right. So we're just going to do this yellow. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Anyone have anything good for dinner? I didn't eat dinner yet. I don't know. I'll probably have salad and veggie burger. Like I do like every night. It's like my thing. Mm. All right. Let's see. All right, now we've all kind of filled in this yellow to make it like nice and thick. We want, if there's any blue popping through, we'll cover it with a little more yellow. Just be nice and gentle. You guys got this. You got this, all right? Who's feeling so proud so far? You got like a nice big yellow thing. <sighs> you guys are making my day. This is very cool to me. Mm-hmm. It's not every day that you have an idea for your business and it explodes like this. This is very cool. I started it out just for my Newport friends and other people around Rhode Island, but there's people from all over the country and all over the world that are painting with me right now. If you're not in Rhode Island, actually, if you're in Rhode Island, I want to hear that too. Tell me where you're from. I want to hear it. I want to know. I almost knocked it down. I want to know the farthest distance we've got and all all the special places now while you're having tacos um if we weren't social um social separating i forgot what it's called right now but um 
I would like to say I would come over for tacos for dinner as long as you have beans. Westerly, Rhode Island, Tiverton. Let's see, Pennsylvania. I love it. Tell me where you guys are from. Tell me any, everything. Megan, I love you too. I don't know if it was Megan or uh, Caroline, but love you all. Mm, I don't know what we're painting at tomorrow. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna, I'll read those after. I can't read them right now because I know some people will be like, Becky, hurry up. We're trying to paint here. Oh, corned beef. Duh, it's St. Patty's Day. Who's having St. Patty's Day food? Lebanon, Connecticut. All right, my friends. Time to do green. So we're going to take that yellow that's on our brush, okay? We're going to mix it with a tiny bit of blue, okay? Take more yellow. I know we already made green, but we added black to it. So if you have black in all of your green, we're just going to make some more. All right, so we're going to make a nice, vibrant Kelly green. Kelly green, as if we're Irish or something. I don't know. We're all Irish today. All right, so we're going to take that green, and what we're going to do... We're gonna come right up under that yellow. All right, and just do a layer of green now. Make it, make sure it's right up against that yellow. All right. Hmm. Just keep taking more green as you go and just kind of drag it right up against that yellow. This takes a really steady hand, my friends, and you know what, you're all doing the best you can, right? So that means you're doing awesome. I'm proud of all of you guys. So we're just going to take the green. It's going to go right up against that yellow. We want it to be up against it. Okay. Now in real life, there's not a separation between the yellow and the green. It just kind of yellow fades into green and oh, my hand looks like it's shaking, but it's not. That's weird. Hmm. But we have to make it with a separation because of, well, that's how I want to do it. All right, I hope that's okay with you. All right, cool. All right, cool. Cool, cool. You cool? I'm cool, look at me. You're cool too, because you're painting with me, holla. All right, so, once we've got that green, we're gonna clean off our little, our little brushes again, okay? Hold your cups on the table, swirl, swirl, swirl. Okay, tap it at the bottom. We're gonna squeeze the extra water back into the cup. You guys are doing awesome. I am so proud, all right? Cool. So we're gonna take that little brush again and we're gonna dunk it in blue. We're gonna take that blue, we're gonna go right up against that green, that dark blue, okay? Want it to be a nice and thick blue, but not thick, solid, solid. All these stripes are gonna, or all these um, colors in the rainbow are gonna be the same color as best as you can. Oh my gosh, not the same color, the same size, the best you can. All right, you guys are doing good. What kind of music are you listening to? I'm interested in what my viewers like. I normally, if, if it were me and I was allowed to play music, I'd be playing Kids Bop and I would be singing you all of the new songs. Okay? So we're going to do a big blue frowny face. Even though this is like one of the biggest happiest things is a big rainbow, right? Do you know why? A rainbow forms after it rained out and it when it gets sunny out again. That's why rainbows happen. So... You know, rainbows are one of the best things there is. All right. I just saw the reflection from my light across the house. I got freaked out. I didn't know what it was. All right. All the way. Okay. All the way down. Okay. You guys are doing so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me know if you guys want me to read my book again if you guys missed it. I'll read it again. I have no shame in my game. You know, I don't care. I got you guys after we do this. All right. Once we've got that blue frowny face right up against the green, we're going to take some of that blue. All right. And mix it with red. The blue that was on your brush, you can just start mixing it and you just mix the blue and the red until you get a beautiful purple that you love. 
all right I might add like just a little dab of white because this purple is dark dark you don't have to though just because I like to be able to see my purple in the sky purple in the sky with rainbows purple in the sky with rainbows oh I know the parents that know me in real life that have never seen a paint party are laughing because you know normally I bump my hip-hop music but I can't do that today for you it's all right maybe Jay-Z will see this or Kanye and their their kids can paint with me too until then I'm happy you you guys are all painting with me making a nice purple all right Adding blue and red until I like the, love the color. Okay. Hmm. That's a nice purple. I like that. All right. We're going to do purple right up under the blue. Do you know the acronym to remember your rainbow colors and the order that they come in? Do any of you know? I just expected to hear something. Do you, guys, go ahead and tell me. What is it? Do you know? Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet but we're just gonna do purple instead of indigo and violet. Is that okay with you? That's okay with me. All right, purple all up under the blue, right up against it, please. And thank you. Mm. You guys are killing it. You're doing awesome. I'm so proud. Mm. All right. We're gonna clean off our little brushes. All right, make sure we're holding that cup. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Squeeze the extra water back into the cup. Please and thank you. And now we're gonna make orange, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of red, mix it with some yellow. Ugh, I got a lot of green in it, a little bit. I hope it comes out right or I have to pour more yellow. Let me say, put a little more red. What do you guys think? You like that orange? Mm. Mm hmm. I think that's a good one. You guys like my new hat? Can you read it? Has to be. You have to read it backwards. Mermaid masterpieces. I have new um, mermaid masterpieces swag. You want to see my other hat? Hold on. I don't like this one as much because it's a solid color. Mm. Okay. Try what? Does that girl in the hat look familiar? I'll just wear this one. All right. Dan Bigelow, D Biggs, did this. If you guys need to make a cartoon out of yourself. All right. Oops, I forgot my orange over here all right so we're going to take that orange we just made and we're not going underneath with it this time this orange goes above the yellow okay so careful slow and steady hand okay we're doing the orange above the yellow nice and slow okay take your time you guys are doing good i am so proud of you guys I can't wait. I hope your parents and whoever, whatever adult you're with, takes pictures of you and sends it to me. Make sure you tag me and let me know if I can post it because I will post pictures of you guys painting. Be creative too. Parents, take funny pictures with the kids. Here, take a picture of me right now with them. No? Okay. All right. So we're going to just keep doing that orange over the yellow it's right up against the yellow okay we want this orange to be kind of thick because the blue popping through this orange well guess what it'll make brown if it's not thick enough because do you know how to make brown people say brown is made by mixing all the colors together but it's not really true because i feel like if you mix all the colors you can end up with gray to make brown you make an orange like this, I'll show you in a second. You make, you take orange and then you just dip a little dab of blue in it and then keep working it. 
If you need a little bit more blue after you mix it up, keep adding more blue. So I don't like to be lazy and just mix all the colors together and see if I can make brown. I like to make a precise brown. One of my, I mean, this is kind of messed up to say, one of my favorite things to set to do during a paint party is if someone makes a little bit of a mistake, or even if I do it, if someone makes a little bit of a mistake and they're like, ah, I have to paint over this. I have to, I just have to. I like looking at what color they made and color match it. Like, cause I can just do it. Like I'm like, blah, 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 blah. so fun, love it. Are you guys having fun? I feel like I can't be so high energy right now because I'm like trying to stay steady with this uh, orange. I'm sorry. This is very serious. Ugh. All right. Okay, how we doing? We feeling good? Good. All right, so now clean. Oh, wait. Well, I'll just show you how to do brown, uh, brown real quick. See that orange? Just take a little tiny dab of blue. Well. See, it's making brown. Can't really tell because it's on the plate and the plate is like basically a brown tone. Hold on. I'll do that thing with the makeup palette. See, it's brown. Little dab of blue inside your orange. Perfect. All right, guys, we're gonna clean our brushes one last time, all right? Swirl, swirl, swirl. Squeeze that extra water back into the cup. Squeeze. All right. We're gonna take some red and with a nice slow and steady hand, we're gonna do the top layer of the rainbow and do it a nice red to cap it off. All right, you'll just do this right up against the orange. Nice and slow. Take your time, guys. Don't have anywhere to go. Well, bed. We, have, we can go to bed, that's it. But, all right, make sure, guys, when you're off, you send me pictures. Hey, I don't mind a review on my page, Mermaid Masterpieces, leave a review. Go ahead, share with your friends. We want the more the merrier, right? This is the most that we've had for the entire um, party so far. So that's great. There was 350 people for the majority. I guess some people had to go to bed. That happens. I get it. I'm going a little over, I think, right? Go to us. Wait, what time is it? Why is my phone not seven? Yeah, it's 7.01. We'll be done in a minute. We just have to do the pot of gold. All right. Sorry guys going over. I should specify that it's not going to be definitely an hour. I don't even think I told you guys it was an hour, though. So you just know for my paint parties. All right, so we're just doing this top layer of red. Okay. Mm, gosh, that looks beautiful. Don't you love a rainbow? I do. Mm, I love a rainbow. Go ahead and share this, please. So we're going to clean our brushes off one last time. I know I said it was one last time before, but this is the last time. All right, we're going to swirl, swirl, swirl. Squeeze that extra water back into the cup, please. Okay. Now, at the bottom of the rainbow, we're going to take, take our little brushes, dunk them in black. Okay. Mm, we love to order dominoes. And then we're gonna do a smiley face, just a little up from the bottom of the rainbow. A little smiley face right across it, just a little one. And then we're gonna just kind of do like a little bit of a, an oval at the bottom, okay? Just like a little oval right under that smiley face. All right, doesn't have to be a literal oval, just kind of like a little you know, a little bucket shape. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Now we got to add the gold. So take your little brush, 
We're gonna flip it over, we're gonna dunk it in yellow, and we're gonna do a bunch of little yellow dots just at the very bottom of your rainbow. All right, just a bunch of little yellow dots. Hmm. Look at that. I love it. All right, and that's it, my friends. At this time, if you would like to, um, if you'd like to add anything else, birds, ship sailing, more flowers, whatever you want, this is your masterpiece. You could add some dolphins, some mermaids, some sharks, some fishies, whatever you want, some people, some surfers, whatever you want. You guys are the, um, the innovative ones. You guys have great imaginations, all right? So I want you guys to go ahead, add whatever you want. I forgot I had this hat on. I was like, what hat am I wearing? I don't really like this color on me. Hold on. Let me, let me put my blue back on. Hold on. Mm. See, blue just works for my complexion and my beautiful hair color. Right? Right. Mm. Okay, so I want to say thank you guys so much for joining my fourth live, I can't believe I've done four already, my fourth live paint party ever. Again, this is Mermaid Masterpieces. Obviously, you know that because you came to my page. Please share. Please go on to the event, the actual Facebook event. I'll um, post that again. And just, if you could, click invite and then go through and invite all your friends. All right. And if you want to throw a little something, something in my tip jar, it's pinned to the top of this live video. It is not necessary though. This was free, but a lot of people are going to end up asking me, where's the tip jar? Where's the tip jar? I made a post about that and it'll be pinned to the, the top of this um, video, even after this live is over. And I really appreciate that. You guys don't have to do anything, but I really appreciate it. I hope you had so much fun with me today. I had so much fun with you. I can't wait to read all these awesome comments. Um, yeah, you guys, we're doing something real special here. This is positive, positive, positive. And please share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors via email and via Facebook, via Instagram, whatever you want, text, whatever you want. All right. So thank you guys so much for coming today. Join us again. I'm going to be here every day at 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. What, what time zone are we? One, happy birthday, Kristen. Um, I'm going to be here every day at 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern. All right. So come back. All right. Please come. Come back. Come back. Come back. All right. Thank you guys for coming today. I love you all. Mwah.